very Jersey centric. It's uh, this one's called I misplaced my virginity at Callahan's <laughs> on a date with Denise Hardin. I probably shouldn't use her real name actually. Anyway, um, uh, here goes. True story. Denise would slip me a bud heavy after a 16-hour shift slinging burgers and fries at the Meadowlands Flea when I was six years shy of drinking age. Two years later, I sat squirming six inches from her coarse Catholic curvature on her mother's love seat watching East Enders until three in the morning. It was 19 degrees with a chance of Bermuda Triangle. I couldn't make out the signpost planted like aluminum sunflowers in the blue-gray hackensack of her suburbanite eyes. So I inched closer in the blackness of each commercial break. Her world was paved with roadkill and rot, pebbled with ivory feathers and the nightmare-gnawed bones of innocence. I retraced my finger trails through her hair following a brief collision of lips in the foosh of Route 46. Her father blacked out beside a worn out rainbow bright pillowcase and all five new kids on the block, her walls and the world would eventually tire of holding up with time. The vacancy of the Callahan's parking lot became a padre to whom I repented countless missed calls from her mouth to mine. The fluorescent all-beef lamplight awaiting a deep-fried atonement for all the jokes we wouldn't get in that British sitcom, now lying fallen, cold, and unfunny at my feet. Next morning, the road home lay pockmarked with blood-drained sermons, crushed metal once tuned to the shape of her favorite flower, reflecting that night, still and ever parted before me, an unswimmable sea, tattooed with her unsinkable moonlight. I'm over it. I really am. It was like 30 fucking years ago. Yeah, right, you know, it's amazing. Uh, and this is, um, you guys remember Daffy's? Yes. All right, good. Perfect. Uh, so this is a, yeah, it's a love poem. It's called Dirt Cheap and Lovely. I remember when Daffy's was our date spot. We'd spend an hour or two scavenging the sale racks and discount shelves for half-off tags on everything from charging iPhone cases and Indian spice racks to unseasonable wares at very seasonable markdowns. At least once a week, we exercised, uh, we exercised our rights as supermarket sweepers and bargain basement vagabonds, strip-searching all the faceless mannequins that dare stand fashionably in our way. Those aisles were mapped out in memory foam. The mirrors forever reassuring us in writing that we looked good. <laughs> and we never plotted the same course twice along that middle earth of forever curving grid work between launch and final clearance. <laughs> the day Daffy's closed its doors for the last time, I bought myself a blue Italian-made trench coat for $25. Right before I discovered you should never trust a man in a blue trench coat, <laughs> never drive a car when you're dead. I never did trust that old self of mine, anyway. I can't remember what you bought that fateful night, my dear. But whatever it was, I'm sure it must have been dirt cheap. And looked lovely on you, too. Thank you, guys. Thank you.